and it is a new podcast solo style like usual three weeks in a row that's how we do it so this time i'm going to do it on the podcast that should have came out if uh you shall not be named did not go crazy racist sexist move and this will hopefully be the last time i even reference that because finally i will have replaced all of the crap so now with this podcast I will have made the podcast that didn't come out because of trash audio. And instead of it being crazy racist, sexist, it will be quality wisdom and discussion on. Hello, hello. This is Jabbar's Wisdom. And today we're going to be talking about uh, black people in general. So this is just minor complaints I have. Now, I'm not going to be going like crazy races or like, you know, some conservative black people person who'd be like, oh, the fault of all black people is that you know we're black people no 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 i'm not gonna go that way you know how freaking conservative black people are all the time or freaking you know these uh people who i will say kind of hate themselves and you know want to put all the fault on oh uh, black people are this 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 this. i'm just saying things that i wish would change that would help raise the uh our people well when i say our my people into a community that has finally left this uh you know even though they've been trying to help hold us down all this time but you know we finally you know take these steps into being 10 out of 10 quality which we are we're like 9 out of 10 quality we just need to get that last little little digit so my first thing is with entertainment and i will start with what i started with in the in that podcast that will never come out it is black youtubers or black content creators in general and my main problem is that a lot of the times when there is a black content creator on any website, rather that be TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, you know, and it doesn't even have to be videos. It could be just jokes or it could be, you know, just not stories, but, you know, mostly like type of jokes by content creators. And each time and a lot of the times, I would say not each time, a lot of the times it is a parody of black culture that fits all the stereotypes that black culture get, uh, get, uh, is given. And you mean, I'm not, you may be saying like, what do you, what do you mean by that? Come on, man. No, black people are always about the, uh, we, we're from an urban environment and blah, blah. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean that let's say, for example, here are two YouTubers. I really, I used to watch and then I stopped watching because you know, they followed the same tropes every single time, which is RDC world one. I think that's their full name. RDC world one. And Dark Vader, King 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 Vader, is that his name? King Vader, something like that. And I would say King Vader in his earlier videos. I don't know about him now because I don't really watch his stuff at all. In RDC World, still, I know for a fact they're still doing videos like this. Hello, it is me from the future, and I just wanted to make a quick little update. Uh. So I recently went, I didn't watch any videos, but I recently went to look up RDC World 1. And uh, I would say it seems their child, their style has changed a lot since I last watched them. So I can't really say or them now. Like, I don't know, when was the last time I watched them? Probably like, like two years ago. So, you know, it's kind of dated. And it's probably three years ago, actually, because, you know, I keep forgetting that the COVID year kind of is a lost year. So yeah, it's probably three, three or four, I would say three maybe years ago. And I went to look at them now and yeah, their their style has changed a lot. You know, you don't really see the clickbait kind of like blank, blank, blank in the hood anymore. So I did want to just make this update and say that, you know, there's, it seems, I don't know, cause I still haven't watched a video. I was just looking at the titles of their, many of their recent videos. And it does not seem, you know, that they, are you know making videos of that style anymore so you know take what i say about them with a grain of salt i mean there are still black creators who do this but you know artisty world one i will admit that they do it seems they they don't make videos like that anymore so uh, i just wanted to say that just in case you know i don't know they could be watching be like what we haven't made videos like that in seven years how dare you you're like yeah yeah i i noticed i noticed 
you know, I, I, I am, <laughs> my opinion of their videos is very, very, very dated. So, you know, take what I say about them with a grain of salt. And I'm, I'm assuming maybe King Vader's the same, but I don't know. I went to look him up and he did say, uh, what was it? Demon Slayer in the hood. So <laughs> maybe he, he still has that, uh, that freaking, uh, some videos like that occasionally. But yeah, yeah. Just wanted to make that clear that be for the future viewers that yes, I I did notice RDC World One does not make videos like that as anymore. At least from what I've seen, they don't make videos like that anymore. Okay, back to the freaking out of date past Jabari. Is they do blank 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 in the ghetto every time their videos are blank 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 in the ghetto now what do you what could that blank 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 be literally anything it could be avengers but it's ghetto avengers now oh yeah these uh these avengers we're gonna have iron man hulk they're gonna act ratchet in uh ghetto and it's gonna be funny ha 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 or let's say some anime character anime in the ghetto it doesn't matter what anime it could be pokemon oh pokemon pikachu's cap uh busting the cap in him Oh, uh, they're doing a drive-by, ha ha ha, you know, stuff like that. And it would be all well and good if that was just one little video, but they follow that trope every single time. And I believe, I don't know if that's true, but you know, I'm pretty sure it is. Majority of that audience is not a predominantly black audience, it's a predominantly white audience. And the reason why it's a predominantly white audience is because it's funny. And why is it funny? Because they're acting exactly like the stereotypes are said. It's like, oh, if someone is from the ghetto, they're going to do murder. They're going to do gang, uh, gang violence. Oh, they act stupid. They act uh, uneducated, blah, 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 blah. All they know is kill, kill, kill and be stupid all the time or over exaggerate about stupid stuff. And I think that is a completely negative and backwards thing for our people as a even though it shouldn't matter, but still it, it does, sadly as a people for others to look at us and for our own people to look at ourselves. Because when you see videos like that always, or you see jokes like that always on Twitter, on TikTok, on uh, YouTube, it just leads to people believing that that's how they're supposed to act. Like where if there is a black person who doesn't act all, you know, ratchet gangster or whatever, you're kind of a loser black person at that point. Because you know, everyone, it's funny when people act stupid or act gangster, blah, 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 blah. And it's every a lot i'm not gonna say every but a lot of black content is like that all the time where it's well when i say black content black internet content is like that where they have to you know uh, bring in the ghetto because that's all our identity is it's just oh we're from the ghetto we do gang violence and we can't uh articulate anything well we can't uh, understand things all we understand is guns violence and stereotypes and like come on Come on, that's not what that's not all we are. But these videos make it seem like that's all we are. And, you know, I think it 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 makes a difference when that's all you see. Now, that's internet content. I don't like I believe that there are other ways of making internet content other than that. And I wish there were more people. But, you know, that's just a thing. I get it could be there are more people who do internet content that's not like that, but people are drawn to the more I guess stereotypically made ones because like or maybe the, like, for example, I make videos that aren't, well, I used to make videos that weren't, I, they didn't follow that many stereotypes, but in the same way, I wonder if our videos, well, when I say our, I mean, like say RDC World, King Vader, mine, they become uh, popular because a lot of things that King, uh, King Vader and RDC World won, and even me, even though I'm way less popular, but still, even me make videos like is that it's nerd content with a black person in it. And it makes me wonder, is that another reason why these videos are popular? Because, you know, it's like, oh, black people are supposed to act like this, but they're, they're acting dirty. No, that's just different. Ha ha. It's funny. And that would be good in a way, showing that, you know, black people can have a different type of, you know, interest other than basketball, football, drive by gang banging and uh, freaking uh, rap. It's like there's more to that than just the, there's more to, to people than just that. Not everyone acts exactly the same, but... The problem is when black people do these certain type of things like, oh, I am a person who has a personality outside those stereotypes, but 
let me bring let me add in my stereotypes again to make because you know we can't we i can't just be someone who likes anime i have to be someone who likes anime in the ghetto oh yeah we gotta add in some gangbang gotta add in some uh violence into what is normally you would say is oh that's a cool you know alternative hobby or interests other than these stereotypes the same and it's, ha- it's it's with everything a lot of things but that's just one complaint and that's just with internet content but with more official things with movies i wish there were more directors who would because it's the same way but in a different form and i don't know if this is because it's hard for a black director to you know make movies outside of this certain type of genre because of the you know these how you know maybe they're held down maybe they just can't find a producer who wants to produce their work that is outside of these genres but what are these genres you're talking about well there's the obvious one slavery and gang something or well not gang but ghetto something which i understand is a big part of our culture is that we you know we came from slaves and many black people come from the ghetto but that's not all the stories that need to be told there are more stories that need to be told than those two and those two are important stories to be told but there are more and the reason why black panther i feel is so popular was because for once it was a black story that wasn't about those two that was just it was just a superhero story you know there was a whole you can get lost in the fantasy of it and not be you know push this this message of you know oh you 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 guys you gotta make remember we're from slaves remember remember and it's like i wonder if these stories that are about slaves and uh gang like just ghettos in general i don't think they're made for black people they're not made to be what well sometimes you know black people watch it because you know there's a sense of pride or you know a sense of history from it but it's like a lot of the i feel like a lot of these directors don't make it for black people it's made for particularly white people to understand where black people come from or to make them you know feel guilty about the the past of how they treated us but it's like that's good that's that's all well and good but for once people need or black people need movies for them and it's like black panther i know it's just like you know people always talk about black panther you know there's the joke oh we come from wakanda does this 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 but it's like the reason why that movie was so powerful even though it was it wasn't the best marvel movie by far it was not the best marvel movie i don't know why like the the reviews making it like so highly regarded that's more because it was a black superhero like it wasn't because the movie was that great but the reason why that movie was so powerful was because for once there was a movie a black movie that was just like a fantasy like most movies are like where it it transports you to another world for a couple hours and you have fun watching and that usually is never a thing and it's it's an original well when i say original story like it's not a oh oh let's make a spider-man but he's black oh let's make a a a superman now but uh, he's black let's make a tv show that's kind of like uh it's kind of like friends but the cast is black now it's like no 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 black panther was its own thing it was its own thing like yeah it was a black superhero and he's like oh what a superhero but he's black but no 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 it was his own original thing it wasn't superman but he's black it was black panther who was originally black and that's how he was and i wish there were more movies like that because that is a it inspires more people more black people to move themselves outside of you know what we're doing now because you don't see that many black directors you don't see like you can name the the famous black directors on the on one hand probably and i don't i don't know that many i know what peel and freaking well i think his name's peel you know the guy from keen peel who made uh, get out you know uh Ty- Ty- tyler perry <laughs> i don't know anyone else it's like if there were more movies that were just like say like black panther where it's just its own thing and it's just a black cast or whatever and you know it wasn't just like some type of like movie about the ghetto or about slavery like a fun movie there would be more i feel like there'd be more black people in the arts well when i say in the arts because there are a lot of black artists but i mean like you know in these i don't know how to like you know like movies or say even video games like you don't see any black made video games there's that's not a thing like there's probably small time stuff but it's not a thing but it leads me to my third thing which it could be that there are people who want to do this stuff but they can't receive funding and why can't they receive funding because they don't know other rich black people and even though there are a lot there are well not a lot a lot but there are a fair amount you know we, there are some black billionaires but it leads me to my third thing about my problem with uh, the black community in general 
is that once people make it out of the black community, they're done. They're done with that community for a life. Like once you made it to like some standard of wealth, you basically forget about the community. You only use that community for clout and you don't like support the community anymore. You're basically, you almost like a, a black person will almost for like ref, not even, I don't even like, they won't even admit that they're black. They, they will, they will forget that their, their blackness, their blackness is gone at that point because they made it. They don't need this, uh, you know, this community who can't rise up because I'm not going to help them. Now that I made it, I'm done. And it's like, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy that, especially for how our community is when we're, you know, like from together, like, you know, it's a strong community, but that, you know, tries to get, get by. But then the ones, the few who make it out, they're just done. They're, they don't want to spread that wealth. They don't want to help out that community anymore. And it's like in the past, that was never a thing in the past. They wanted the community to be strong. The, the successful black people, they created, you know, or attempted because, you know, a lot of these cities that they tried to make got burned down. But still, it's like they tried to create cities. They tried to create jobs. They tried to create so much once they made it. But now it's like, let's just say, say Jay-Z. And Jay-Z's a powerful rapper. He, you know, inspires a lot of people, inspires them to try to make themselves uh, work their way up. But now that he's made it, what does he care about? He doesn't care about wealth for the community. He cares about generational wealth. He cares about just the wealth for his family, which is all, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's like, you can't keep talking about, you know, making your raps or your albums sometimes about black people, how, you know, oh, uh, the story of OJ. He's like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. It's like, aren't you the same way though? You don't want to help out the black community either. You you only care about your family now, which is which is a good thing. You know, caring about your family, that's, that's better than just wasting your wealth away. At least he's trying to work it, work it up. But, you know, you can still help out the community and still make money, too. But it's like this money and then it, they might use some of the money because I'm guessing sometimes they do a little charity, a little sprinkle of charity. But it's like that's that's nothing. That's nothing. And I wish we had. And I don't know if it's because maybe they don't have the strategies for this stuff but it's like i wish the black community had these type of things like where they could use the wealth to fix the community in a way but that just doesn't happen that just doesn't happen it's just what if a rapper makes the money they're done and maybe it's because you know it's just rap money but once they make that money they're done they're like i'm just going to spend it on myself if that all goes away okay and the ones who make it even further up the billionaires the few bill black billionaires they're like I made it to billionaire status. I have more money than I'll ever need in my life. So I'm just gonna make sure that's for my family now. And not not the black community family. No, no, just my my blood. Well, even though we're, you know, you, you could say that we're blood, like technically blood related because we're all, you know, the same community, but still like my inner family and that's it. I'm done. I'm like, if I make it to a rich status like that, I hope I can never think in that that form and actually want to spread this wealth. Because, you know, money, money only goes so far. You know, you only spend so much money. You only get so much stuff. Like, yeah, some people are addicted to the spending, but it's like there needs to be the few who want to make things better, not just make it better for themselves or make it better for their family, but make it better for their whole community. And but. Those are my few complaints about the black, uh, black community, but there is one more. There's one more. And this is my last time try referencing Papanti Piff, because there are a lot of black people who, especially the ones who are, you know, I would, who don't follow, who don't follow the stereotypes at all of a black person. Like, you know, the ones who might listen to metal, the ones who watch a lot of anime, the ones who, you know, talk like me, but you know, I'm different, but still, you know, the ones who talk say like me who don't have that kind of accent or you know don't wear the type of clothes those urban more clothes maybe black people from the suburbs especially let's say black people who are rich there is this whole thing where if you don't fit those stereotypes then a lot of the times these black people they kind of in the same way as the rich people they kind of almost strip away their blackness in a way like where they don't believe that they are connected to the black community that they are different you know they, oh, I'm, I'm a different type of person. And it leads to these people a lot of times in high school, but you know, I drop a lot of those friends, but still, and you know, Papante Piff also had these same type of opinions where they have just because they feel so separated from the black community, they have to like have these, uh, they have to rationalize, oh, why do I feel this way? You know, or not even rationalize why they feel this way, but rationalize why they're different. And it, it gets to a point where it gets 
super, you know, racist, honestly. And it's ironic because a lot of uh, sometimes the most racist people towards black people are black people themselves. And you would never think that, but it is true. It's really true. And they when they rationalize like why they're different, it'll get to like crazy stuff like, oh, it's because Oh, oh, the way families are raised, oh, black families are just raised be, uh, raised to be dumb or, you know, the black women are raised to be this and this and, you know, oh, black women are too independent while these ones aren't. It's like, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like a lot of one person said stuff similar to that, where it's like, oh, it's because black women are too independent. It's like, what? that doesn't make any sense. Why would the independence of a woman make any difference? If anything, that's a good thing. Like, what? Like what? Why are we stuck in these like, like? It's so ironic. It's so ironic that they, you know, they follow these certain beliefs to rationalize why they are different. It's like that. It, it doesn't work like that. And then these same people, a lot of times, you know, have these like anti, you know, black. Uh, I guess uh, what's the word? Not attraction, but you know, like they would prefer to be with anything that isn't black because they don't, I guess, they don't want to feel connected to that. Like, they don't want to be like, oh, uh, uh, black people are ghetto and I, I'm not ghetto, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I don't like black people. It's like, come on, come on. Like, and there, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having preferences, but what is wrong is having fetishes, like strong fetishes towards something specifically just because it's like a race or something. Because you'll see that a lot of uh, these certain type of black people are like super super like to the point of creepiness like into say asians or into uh white people into uh very fair skin latinas it's like it's like it's, it's weird it's super weird it's super weird and i'm like come on man like if you like i don't know if these it just doesn't make sense and i'm not gonna try to like understand why they think like that <laughs> Like, I have suspicions, but I'm not going to say it out loud and then, you know, have some person 50 years from now be like, how dare you? I would, I'm not thinking like that. I can't believe I just liked them because I like them. It's like, no, come on, man. I know why. You know why. Everyone else knows why. If you have a freaking huge fetish like that, dude, you have problems. There's some like deep in deep stuff that you need to fix completely because that's not cool. That's not cool. But... That is basically that podcast that I wanted to make before, but didn't get to because it got off track to become racist, sexist, because, you know, that same thing where I'm saying they're trying to rationalize why they feel that they are different from, you know, their own community and why they, you know, why the other community is better in their opinions, stuff like that, busted. But that's it. That is it. So that's probably, hopefully, the last time I will bring up that situation. I made this because I just wanted to not have that other podcast be completely wasted because of the trash audio. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, I didn't say anything uh, too busted. You know, it's kind of hard just talking, talking, talking without any script, without any co-host. So... If it is busted, there is something I said that was that needs to be changed. Uh, hopefully I'll still be around because I know that the person who will be wanting to say something, you know, that'll be someone 50 years from now. So, you know, hopefully I'll answer wherever I can get messages. Who knows how they're messaging 50 years from now? But um, 